it's, let's say we have a star and another star, double star system. Right. Famously portrayed in what film? Uh, star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. All right. Of course. So those two suns and the planet is stable. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Mm -hmm. But if you take a third sun and put it there, about approximately the same size, then what kind of orbits will they have? Give me two fists here, okay? okay. So I'm feeling this one, but right. now I feel that where's right. my gravitational allegiance? Right. You don't am know I, where to go. Am I going to come through? Right. But then am I going to go that, that way or this way? So I'm coming into the system. And do I go to you in orbit? But wait, I, and you're still coming around here. Right. Now I feel this. And so it turns out the orbits of a three-body problem are mathematically chaotic. Yes. I was about to say, that did not seem very stable. <laughs> Something has to give. Well, this is this is in the series, what Some, we're talking something, about. Something. I don't I haven't seen the series. I know. I'm just saying, something has to give. That's awful. Two of these are going to collide. Right. One is going to get ejected. Right. Okay. That is the classical three-body problem. Three objects of approximately similar mass trying to maintain a stable, a stable orbit. orbit. And it goes chaotic with just three objects. Look at that. It is an unsolvable. You can, let me say that differently. You can calculate incrementally what's happening and track it until the system dies right. or, or, or splits apart or whatever. But you cannot analytically predict the future of the three body system because what chaos will do for you in your mathematical model is if you change the initial conditions by a little bit, right. a little bit, the solution diverges. Further down the line, it goes, it goes crazy. crazy. It's not just a little bit different later right, on down the exactly. line. Exactly. It, it is exponentially, exponentially different. different. Correct. Wow. With the with the smallest increment of distance. Right. So I'll say, I'll move you in this direction, in this model, and then in a slightly different direction in the other model, it goes chaotic. That's what we mean by chaos. Right. Okay.